right, so let's take a look at this problem. James started a jog at 2.46 p.m. and ran for 39 minutes. He then walked another 14 minutes until he arrived at the park. What time did James get to the park? So I'm going to go ahead and draw a number line. Okay, and then I'm going to use our starting time, and since when we're dealing with time, earlier times go on the left, so we started at 2.46 p.m. It says he ran for 39 minutes, so we know we need to add 39 minutes to our number line, but what we want to do is break that number up so that it's easier to work with. So for instance, if it's 246, how many minutes would we need to add to get it to a nice round hour? So the next hour coming up would be 3 o'clock. So in order to get from 46 to 3 o'clock, we know we would need to add 14 minutes. So we add 14 minutes. And like I said, 14 minutes would get us to 3 o'clock. So we used up 14 minutes of our 39 minutes. So how many minutes do we have left of that 39 minutes? It's going to be 25. So now we're going to go forward another 25 minutes. And I know these arrows aren't to scale, but that's okay. So we've got 14 and 25, and like I said, those two together give us our 39 minutes. So now we're sitting at 325. Finally, it says that he walked another 14 minutes until he arrived at the park. So we need to add another 14 minutes. And this is going to bring us to 3. 39 p.m. So, in the end, James arrives at the park at 3.39 p.m. This is how you would use a number line to solve a problem dealing with time. So let's look at another problem that deals with time and use a number line to solve it. Jimmy and Cindy run in a race. Jimmy runs his time in 24 minutes and 15 seconds and Cindy's time is 22 minutes and 37 seconds. Who ran faster? And secondly, how much did they win by? So, let's take a look at Jimmy's time. So like I said, Jimmy ran his race in 24 minutes and 15 seconds. And Cindy, on the other hand, ran her race in 22 minutes and 37 seconds. So again, we're going to draw a number line. The shorter time is going to go on the left, 2237, and the larger or sl slower time is going to go on the right. Okay? So now we need to figure out what is the difference in time between these two times. So again, we're going to work our way across from one side to the other in increments. And we're going to break it up so that it's easier to work with. So if we start at 22 minutes and 37 seconds, we want to get to the next round minute, which would be 23 minutes. So how many seconds would I need to add to get to 23 minutes? I would need to add 23 seconds. And that would get me to 23 minutes. Then I want to get from 23, I'm going to get close to 24.15, but I want to keep it simple. So let's just go to 24 minutes. So in order to get to 24 minutes, I'd have to add 60 seconds. Or you can also think of that as add one minute. And then finally, so that put me at 24 minutes. All I have to do is get from 24 minutes to 24 minutes and 15 seconds which means that it's just 15 more seconds to go. And we add these three numbers up and that gives us our total difference in time between the two 
racers times. So 60 seconds or one minute plus 23 seconds and 15 seconds, so that's 38. Using the number line is going to be one of the most effective ways of solving a problem that deals with time. And this is how you would go about doing it.